everyone welcome back to my channel i am so glad that you guys came over to see this new grocery haul i am super excited because i went to trader joe's for the first time i've never lived near trader joe's in like 15 years so i was super excited to go i hear all these really good things on youtube and see all the different things that people haul so i really needed some fresh produce this week and i thought you know what like I just want a one-stop shop store and I didn't want to go to Walmart so I drove and went to Trader Joe's so let me show you what I got if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and this bell notification so you know every time that I upload a new video and without further ado let's get to the groceries okay so my counter is kind of messy but that is okay we're gonna go through all the fun here. So first of all, the fresh stuff, that's what I really need to go and just replenish a few fresh things that we had used up. Um, so I got these huge strawberries. They were actually $5.99, um, but they were huge. I couldn't believe that. Uh, zucchini, because we had grilled some the other night, and so I needed some more, because I put this in salads too. I cut it up really fine. Uh, I got two different types of apples because apples last so long. So I got some Honeycrisp and I got some Gala apples. Galas are usually my favorite. Everybody raves about these. So I thought I would try them. And I really like that they were small. And I think that maybe my son will like that actually as well. Um, just got some bananas. They didn't have um, very green ones. I try to buy the greenest ones I can. But... Um, so I only got five of them. One more thing of asparagus. This is the same asparagus I get at Publix and it was really good last time. A couple of cucumbers because we eat these like nothing. Oh my goodness. And I was actually looking for some regular broccoli like the, the heads of broccoli and they didn't have any or I didn't see it. So just got this to like steam and have with dinner and wanted some brussels sprouts kept seeing lots of roasting of vegetables lately on different videos and things so it just made me want some brussels sprouts um got some more mandarins and i really want to make sure that i um just peel these if i just sit watch a show watch a youtube video peel these really quick doesn't take very long my guys eat them like chips y'all it's it's amazing <laughs> um I did get some more potatoes, and these I thought were kind of expensive, but they were organic red potatoes, and they were $4.29. Um, I really wanted to try this. I usually wash all the fruits and vegetables when I get home with, like, vinegar, um, but I really wanted to try this. I just didn't know if it would be good. It wasn't very expensive. I think, like, 2 or $3.00 couple of splurges back here that I thought would be really fun. Um, these are yogurt covered pretzels. I love these. I love them better than the um, chocolate ones. And then these were actually a checkout splurge. I don't know. They reminded me of those little animal crackers that have the pink and white frosting. I don't know. They spoke to me. And then I got a big thing of basil. I'm hoping to be able to keep this one alive it was in a bigger pot and so I actually need to buy a pot for my time as well and so we'll see if I can keep this guy alive if not there was a lot of basil on it and I can um, use that just a couple other random things really why I went to Trader Joe's is I really been wanting to try this mandarin um, orange chicken that everybody raves about and they rave about like the fried rice with it so I actually tried both I got the chicken fried rice and the vegetable fried rice under there and um, this was like really really low in the freezer so I thought maybe that was a good sign that everybody liked it and I really like Kung Pao chicken so I wanted to try this too couple other frozen things this looks really good the corn and my family doesn't like it but I really like this kind of corn that has the cheese with it it's like a Mexican style way of making corn and oh my gosh it's so good but um I was buying the big thing at Costco but I was the only one eating it so I was like oh let me see if the Trader Joe's one is better because sometimes I want it and sometimes I don't I thought it'd be an easier thing I saw these the other day and I thought they would be really good and just really convenient for lunches. Not that I couldn't make this up and roast it myself, but I saw this on 
Lemonade Mom. She was doing like a meal prep with it and I thought this would be good. So I wanted to try them and see if they would be a good thing for me to have on hand for like lunches with salad because a lot of times I'll, I'll make like potatoes like this and just put it with um, salad or um, like romaine boats, stuff like that. And then one more thing I really just thought I would try this. I love a dumpling. Um, this is a Thai vegetable kind of a dumpling and it looked easy and easy to make. I think you can just microwave it and that was what I was thinking would be really good for lunches. Okay, so got these two things of puffs, I guess you would call them, corn puffs. And so this was the cheddar one. I figured I'd like this one and I figured the family would too. And then this one was actually a sour cream and onion and we really like sour cream and onion chips so I really wanted to try that these were really affordable like a dollar fifty or a dollar sixty and I thought, I thought that was a really good deal considering um, chips and things like that are like four dollars so that is my Trader Joe's haul let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing is to buy at Trader Joe's because it looked really promising. I really liked it, but some of the stuff was similar to what I can get at Publix. No big deal. Um, what's your favorite thing to buy at Trader Joe's? I would love to know. I would love to try some stuff with your guys' suggestions. So just let me know. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Hey everyone and welcome to my Trader Joe's haul. I was needing some fresh fruits and vegetables and so I decided just to bite the bullet and go down to Trader Joe's. It's about half an hour from my house, but last time I went I was really impressed with the produce. So let me know in the comments below what do you buy at Trader Joe's? Like what should I try? Like this is a new experience. I've never lived near one before. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. So check this out. Tons of things. It didn't even all fit. But let's go through and show you guys what I got. I'm really excited. So we'll start with the bad first, right? <laughs> so um, this is kind of like the snack stuff that I got. I just got some uh, tortilla chips. This is like new popcorn that is there and the employees were like raving about it. So I'm kind of, I don't know what it'll taste like. I'm hoping maybe kind of like boom chicka pop type of thing, but I'm not sure. I don't know, but everybody says it's amazing. This was just something I grabbed, um, almonds and cashews in the everything but the bagel seasoning. It was something I grabbed at the register and I just thought it'd be good. And I feel like, isn't Trader Joe's known for their everything but the bagel seasoning? I feel like that's in everybody's haul, right? These I actually got last time and they're so good. They're like yogurt covered pretzels. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I wanted to try some Ezekiel bread um, in the mornings. So I got the cinnamon raisin. Never tried that before. Heard good things though. Got a huge thing of jasmine rice. I was out of bagels, so I wanted to try these. These are gluten-free um, everything bagels, so I was really curious. Wanted to try that. Lentils. I have actually never cooked lentils before. Anything like that. So I got the red and the regular, and we'll see how they go. They were really cheap though. I was very, very impressed. So I just got a one pound bag of each. Of course, the everything but the bagel seasoning. I don't know why I have don't have this yet, but went ahead and got it today. Uh, a friend of mine let me try this, and I really, really liked it. So I thought this would be a really good alternative. It's just sunflower butter, basically, like peanut butter, but just made of sunflowers. It's really good, y'all. Really good. Um, while I was there, I just got some black olives and some sliced olives for salads. Went ahead and got coconut aminos because I've been looking for these. Um, back here is one thing that me and my husband love, and it's the pink and white. It reminds you of those animal crackers that have the pink and white frosting. Oh my gosh, y'all, they are so good. 
and I actually had to loop around and find these in the store. I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, but we, I knew I had to come home with this at least. So on to the more healthy side of things. So I got three things of zucchini squash. We grill this a lot. I really like it. It's such, I don't know, it's just a staple for me. So I went ahead and got basically six of them. Back here, back here I got a um, Caesar salad kit. I got a broccoli and kale slaw kit. I thought those would be really good. Um, got some just regular cabbage because um, I was gonna make a um, slaw to go over tacos, which is so good. Went ahead and got some arugula back here because I love adding that into salads. Uh, this is like my favorite, favorite salami. So I just grabbed it while I was there totally out of lemon pepper seasoning and I put this on all my vegetables love it so much so I grabbed that these were something I've been seeing all over these like sparkling waters and I just didn't know which kind I would actually like and it's really hard because everybody on YouTube tells you that they like them all so it's really difficult but I knew this brand was kind of a newer brand that had come out and so I got the grapefruit the raspberry lime blackberry and orange mango and I figured I would try them see how they were went ahead and got some tortillas oh my goodness they say handmade and they look handmade so hopefully they'll be really good big thing is strawberries because I've been trying to serve fruit a lot with my dinners. so if you haven't seen I've been putting out some come over for dinner videos to give you guys some inspiration and motivation during this time when we're cooking a lot so I've been trying to um for some reason, I've been on a kick serving fruit with dinner, and I think I'm going to keep going with it. I really, really like it, actually. Blackberries, I love these. Oh, my gosh. They're, like, my fave. Um, got some different types of um, tomatoes, just some regular tomatoes, the Trader Joe's brand. And then I got this mixed medley, which I thought would be really good, too. A couple different types of mushrooms. We usually grill these, and I use them in meals, too, so I had a couple meals in mind. Got some avocados here in this bag. Some broccolini, which I really wanted to try last time, so I just bit the bullet and tried it. These I've never bought before, but um, I went ahead and got them. They're English peas, and I've only ever had peas in the can. So I was trying to, maybe these will be good, I don't know. I just thought it'd be worth the try. Back here is some pears, some potatoes, two English cucumbers, which I love the cucumbers that come vacuum sealed like this. I feel like they last forever. A thing of cauliflower so I could roast that or I could make soup or so many possibilities. What else? These are green beans and I have been grilling these as well, but I really like when you roast stuff too, like in the oven, that's so much easier. So a lot of times like I'll roast these with, you know, different things. And so I got two green beans. I got these ones because they were already trimmed the other night. I felt like I was taking forever trimming the end of the vegetables. Look at these huge Brussels sprouts. Y'all ever seen Brussels sprouts this big? I have not. So these are really cool. They're actually microwavable, so if I want to steam them in the bag, I can do that. The last time I actually grilled some on, my husband actually grilled some on the grill, and that was, oh my gosh, it was so good. I have a couple good Brussels sprout um, ways. So I got two of those. I got some lemons. These are corn. They were 49 cents a piece, so I thought this would, might be cool to grill. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I should get some. So I got that. Super excited about this. This is jicama. And I have gone into the store so many times and asked people like, do you have any jicama? People have no idea what I'm talking about. It's actually this like root vegetable and it's really good. It's like kind of a fresh, has a bite to it. It's really, really good. Um, but this one is already sliced up. I thought that was really nice. So this will be good just to snack or with salads, things like that. And they sell it a lot where I'm from in California, but it's really hard to find in the South. 
back here is some grapes and these are the sweet sapphire grapes they look really dark they're really long i don't know they just looked good i wanted to try them this was totally a splurge it looked amazing and probably nobody else but me will eat it but i really really thought it looked good it's a flatbread um, with mozzarella cheese mushrooms and black truffles that just spoke to my heart you know this is um well it's upside down but it's mushroom ravioli and i thought that would be really really good i wanted to try it there was a couple different raviolis that i wanted to try and a couple different like tortellinis so i just picked one these were kind of a splurge that i really wanted to try um, when I saw them. So these are their handmade tamales, they say. Super authentic. Me and my husband grew up in Southern California, so we can tell you about authentic tamales. A lot of times people will just knock on your door and ask, do you want to buy tamales? And so I actually got the ones in green sauce, and this is like the vegetarian. It's with cheese and green sauce. And then I got the pork kind, which is actually a more of a traditional kind, in red sauce. And so it looked really easy to heat these up. I know usually you like steam them in a pot, but they were rather expensive. They were $6.99 a piece, but I thought they would be a really good thing to try. Got some veggie spring rolls because um, I got some orange chicken, so I wanted that to go along with it. Here's a few other things that would not fit on my counter. This is like the staple, right? The mandarin orange chicken that everybody gets, buys, loves. We tried this, we really liked it. The fried rice that everybody gets, we weren't a huge fan of that. It wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be, but this was totally worth it, it was good. I got some frozen asparagus and some fresh asparagus. This is something we grill, something I'll roast. Um, like I could have this every night, I love asparagus. And I got some cut up butternut squash. Um, totally worth it because I hate cutting up a butternut squash. So I went ahead and got that. Guacamole for the chips. Um, ricotta cheese because I actually bought some jumbo shells the other day and I was going to stuff them. Realized I didn't have any ricotta and I didn't have really enough cottage cheese. So I got a small thing of ricotta and then I can probably make that for dinner this week. And got some tofu to actually try it. There was a couple different recipes I wanted to try. So I just grabbed the one that I thought would be good. This is my huge Trader Joe's haul. Yes, y'all, it was like $200. It was crazy. But I love having all the fresh stuff in the house. And I'm sure it will last for weeks. Another thing I got was these tulips. I don't know if they just needed to come home with me. They off, they had tons of different colors, but these purple, they're like light purple. They look more pink on camera, but they're like violet. And I just thought I needed them. And so they were actually $10. They were kind of expensive, but it is like a really big bunch. So nobody ever told me that the flowers at Trader Joe's are like amazing, but they are. I'm Super excited about these, and I'm gonna get them in some water. So let me know, what do you guys get at Trader Joe's? What's your like go-to item? What's the thing I need to try? I would love to like just try a bunch of things, let you guys know what I thought, and I would really wanna know like what's, what's the go-to items? Like I'm not in the loop here. So I hope you enjoyed this haul, and I will see you again in another brand new video. Bye for now.